The mass shooting that took place in Newtown, Connecticut back in 2012 claimed the lives of 26 people. 20 of those people were actually children. And as heartbreaking as that story was, uh, unfortunately, we live among monsters. And one of those monsters is Alex Jones, who is now facing a defamation lawsuit that was filed by some of the parents who lost their children during the Newtown massacre. Now, the three parents whose children were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012 filed a defamation lawsuit against him, who has long claimed that the shooting was, quote, completely fake and a giant hoax perpetrated by opponents of the Second Amendment. Now, he's talked about this over and over again on his program. Uh, and uh, more recently, he brought it up again and said that it was a false flag operation. Uh, Media Matters has been compiling um, some of this video, and here is an example of some of the things that he said. Sandy Hook, it's got inside job written all over it. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. I couldn't believe it at first. People just instinctively know that there's a lot of fraud going on. Uh, but it took me about a year with Sandy Hook to come to grips with the fact that the whole thing was fake. I mean, even I couldn't believe it. I knew they jumped on it, used the crisis, hyped it up, but then I did deep research and my gosh, it just pretty much didn't happen. I mean, I've interviewed the cops. And, and, and the people that saw the feds plant the bombs in Oklahoma City. You saw them stage Fast and Furious. Folks, they staged Aurora. They staged Sandy Hook. The evidence is just overwhelming. The Newtown kids, oh, they take them, put them in our face, tell us their names, who they were. I heard an ad this morning on the radio, Bloomberg paid for it locally, going, I dropped Billy off and watched him go around the corner. And he never came back, all because of the guns. Won't you just turn your guns in for my son? Well, we should all take comfort in the fact that that unhinged maniac lost custody of his own children. But with that said, uh, I also want to mention that part of the reason why this story is so disgusting is because after he had done those videos, his viewers started attacking the parents who had just buried their own children. So imagine having to go through that kind of pain and then you have to deal with these unhinged crazy people coming after you and threatening you with violence. In fact, a Florida woman who believes that Sandy Hook was a false flag operation or a hoax was sentenced to five months in prison for making death threats against one of the parents. She was sending him emails, messages, and luckily she was prosecuted, convicted, and, and sent to prison. But no parent should have to A, deal with their kids getting shot and killed in a mass shooting, and B, deal with trolls harassing them incessantly following that mass shooting. So a lot of the right wing think that this is a game and they have fun, guys like Milo and Alex Jones and and, um, uh, and you go down the list. And uh, Breitbart, Andrew Breitbart, where back when he was alive and I interviewed him and he, and he thought it was all just fun. It's not fun when you had your kid murdered and then you start getting death threats because someone can online convince you that that uh, convince that person that you're an actor. Um, imagine if your kids had been killed, and then these monsters come and nonstop harass you, and then start giving you death threats. So it, that's not a game. It's not fun. It's not funny. Uh, and and Alex Jones did a segment in April 22nd of 2017. Newtown happened in 2012. So five years later, it, on his radio show, it was called Sandy Hook Vampires Exposed. So to do that to those parents, knowing at that point it, his own his followers had been haranguing them and harassing them and threatening them all that time. And he pours more fuel on that fire, knowing the misery that he's going to cause those parents. But he doesn't care because it's going to make him an extra buck. What a sick, sick guy. And then they have the temerity to pretend that they care what we said about them, what you said about them. Oh My God, they're so offended. Are you insane? The things that you've done, the monstrous things that you've done. So I will never regret anything I have ever said about him or to him, ever. So let's just put that out there. Anyone can call me whatever they want, hypocrite, whatever. I stand by any statement I've ever made about him. 
And so, so let's just keep it there. Yeah, the minute he apologized to those parents, and by the way, at some point he will, because he'll lose the case. And as he has done many times, lots of bluster and oh, I'm this and that, and they're vampires, and I figured it out. And then he gets sued, and then he has to admit in court or go to court in another context and go, okay, it's all an act. I have a bunch of idiots who listen to me, they're all incredibly stupid. It's easy to trick them. And so for money and for a tiny bit of fame, what do I do? I trick them for a living, I'm actually an actor. And I get them to hate other people and ruin their lives. That's how I make money. When he apologizes to everyone who he's ever lied about and all the people that he has harassed and, and, and affected, then we'll consider whether uh, we'll have further conversation with Alex Jones. But don't count on it. In this case, though, I'd be very surprised if he didn't lose the case. And I don't know how he's gonna get a million dollars. I don't know how many of those stupid shakes that he sold. Uh, but if he did it for the money, now they're going for his money, which I guess makes sense. If you become a member of the Young Turks, you'll be saying, You know, I'm like a smart person. So do it right now, tytnetwork.com slash join. Get the whole Young Turks show every day.